What's going on everyone? We have our first filing out of the SR Emerald, which stands for Self-Regulatory Emerald Exchange 2022-01. Obvious order errors. Let's go ahead and talk about this. This is actually a pretty good one. So this document is scheduled to be published on 119. This was filed January 12th. This is from again the MIAX Emerald LLC to amend exchange rule 521, which is titled Nullification and Adjustment of options transactions including obvious errors. So the exchange is proposing to amend exchange rule 521, what we just said, following discussions with other exchanges and a cross section of industry participants and in coordination with the listed options market structure working group or LOMSWG, collectively the industry working group, the exchange proposes Number one, to amend section B3 of the rule to permit the exchange to determine the theoretical price of a customer option transaction in a wide market so long as a narrow market exists at any point during the 10 second period after an opening or reopening. Number two, to amend section C4B of the rule to adjust rather than nullify customer transactions in obvious error situations provided the adjustment does not violate the limit price. So. To define the theoretical price, you have to go and you have to look at the reference that they give you, which points back to this filing from 2017, which reads in the text right here, in particular, the exchange has been working with other options exchanges to identify and select a reliable third party vendor, which is a TP provider that would provide theoretical price to the exchange whenever one or more transactions is under review per pursuant to rule 521 and the NBBO is unavailable, and the NBBO just means National Best Bidder Offer, or deemed unreliable pursuant to Rule 521B. And then further in the text it reads, pursuant to proposed interpretation and policy point zero four, when the exchange must determine theoretical price, the exchange will request theoretical price from the third party vendor to which the exchange and all other options exchanges have subscribed. Thus, as set forth in this proposed language, Theoretical price would be provided to the exchange by the TP provider on request and not through a streaming data feed. This language also makes clear that the exchange and all other options exchanges will use the same TP provider. Now, proposed changes to section B3 of the rule, going back to today's rule. Exchange rule 521 has been part of a various harmonization effort by the industry working group. These efforts have often centered around the theoretical price for which an options transaction should be compared to determine whether an obvious error has occurred. For instance, all options exchanges have adopted language comparable to interpretations and policies point zero three, exchange determining theoretical price, which explains how an exchange is to determine theoretical price at the open when there are no valid quotes and when there is a wide quote. This includes at times the use of a singular third party vendor known as a TP provider, which is currently SIBO Live Vol. LLC. So real quick for the members, this is what I, you, you've all been talking about when you place an order and the bid and the ask adjusts on you. That is what this is talking about. So now whenever you place your orders and it, let's say you, you buy a call at a dollar, but then as soon as you buy it, it adjusts down back to 0.5 and you lost half your money. This is to prevent that from happening. So this is what that's referring to. So this should be Exciting for the members. Now, proposed sections to or proposed change to section B3. In recent discussions, the industry working group has identified proposed changes to section B3 of Rule 521 that would improve the rule's functioning. Currently, section B3 does not permit the exchange to determine the theoretical price unless there is a narrow quote 10 seconds prior to the transaction. However, in the first seconds of trading, there is no 10 second period prior to the transaction. Further, the industry working group has observed that prices in certain securities can be disjointed at the start of trading. Accordingly, the exchange proposes to provide additional protections to trading in certain circumstances immediately after the opening before liquidity has had a chance to enter the market. The exchange proposes to amend Section B3 to allow the exchange to determine the theoretical price in a wide market so long as a narrow market exists at any point during the 10 second period after an opening or reopening. The exchange proposes to add the following heading and text as subsection B. Customer transactions occurring within 10 seconds or less after an opening or reopening. The exchange will determine the theoretical price if the bid and ask differential of the NBB, which is the national best bid, 
and then NBO, which is the national best offer, for the affected series just prior to the customer's erroneous transaction was equal to or greater than the minimum amount set forth in paragraph A above, and there was a bid ask differential less than the minimum amount during the 10 seconds prior to the transaction. So basically just setting up some protocol there for the bid ask spread uh, differential. Now this is the important part. The exchange proposes to add the following heading and text to subsection B. The exchange proposes to amend section C4B, the adjust or bust rule, for customer transactions and obvious error situations to adjust rather than nullify such orders provided the adjustment does not violate customer's limit price. Currently, the rule provides that in obvious error situations, transactions involving non-customers should be adjusted, while transactions involving customers are nullified unless a certain condition applies. The industry working group has concluded that the treatment of these transactions should be harmonized under the rule such that transactions involving customers may benefit from adjustment just as non-customer transactions currently do, except where such adjustment would violate the customer's limit price, which in that instance, the trade would be nullified. And by the way, the certain conditions it was referring to the current rule provides at section C4C that if any member has 200 or more customer transactions under review concurrently and the orders resulting in such transactions were submitted during the course of two minutes or less, or at least one party to the obvious error is a non-customer, then the exchange will apply the non-customer adjustment criteria set forth. In essence, better order execution and options when there is a wide spread at the start of opening which has been a big complaint amongst the members in the group. So hopefully this should excite you.